What's up, y'all? This is Clay here. We are interviewing some local pastors uh, at the uh, One Blood Revival meeting. And so we're just randomly picking some people and going to ask them some questions. So who are you? My name is Kenyatta Wright. Kenyatta Wright. I'm not a pastor. He is a pastor anyway. Daniel Miller, pastor of Trinity Family Worship in Fort Gibson. This guy is the one that uh, this is the one that God spoke to to start all this. So you can thank him for what's going to take place uh, and just putting this all in motion. I'm Steve Shaddix. I'm from Crescent Valley Baptist Church, a music minister there. He is actually uh, playing a role in the worship part of the One Blood Revival. So you're going to be able to see him. It's going to be awesome. Donnie, tell him about yourself. Um, he, 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 he's Donnie Eccles. <laughs> That's all I can say. Donnie Eccles. Pastor at Boston Avenue Baptist Church. Run Dean, lived in Muskogee about 30 years. And uh, my wife and I, Randy, have got uh, eight kids with our families combined. Pastor Bethel Baptist Church over 51st in Denison and so excited to be a part of the One Blood Revival. My name is Johnny Derwin. I'm the pastor at First Baptist Church in Muskogee. What's really odd is that 37 years ago, I was the youth minister at First Baptist in Muskogee. So all my teenagers are now growing up running the city. And that's pretty scary when you know what they did back in those lock ins days. I'm going, how are you, uh, orthopedic surgeon Jack Weaver? Bob Coburn, you're the mayor? What happened to our town? But no, seriously, good people. I'm Tim Salters. Uh, no. I go first and then you. I'm so sorry. Oh, keep rolling with it. Keep rolling. We're going to play that. Oh, so I'm play Tim. That. I'm Patrick Phelan. And pastor, youth pastor? Yes. yes. Uh, the One Blood Revival is starting this Sunday night. How are you feeling about the revival? I'm really excited about it. Can't wait for it to start. And also, it's my birthday, so it makes it even better. Oh, snap. <laughs> revival on my birthday. The big 5-0. It, uh, pretty excited about it. I wish it was today. <laughs> I wish it was going right now. I feel great about it. Uh, I'm excited to see what God's going to do. Awesome, man. Uh, is the music, uh, I know it's been hectic. You've been dealing with some rough people. My sister's involved in that. Are you are you surviving all that? Uh, it's It's been awesome. Uh, great, great people that we've been working with. And, and uh, it's been exciting to get to know everybody and build relationships and just see how God's working amongst all the different churches in our area. You know, no matter what happens, it's already been great. Uh, but we're expecting, we're expecting uh, the Lord to show up and a lot of prayers to be answered and people's lives to be touched. So, Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, I'm just so excited. Uh, from what I heard from Pastor Johnny, this is the first time since the 1800s all the pastors in the community have gotten together for something like this. So I'm just ready to see what God has in store for Muskogee. You guys have been meeting here for several months uh, of planning about this revival, so tell the people what it's all about. Well, the, the first day was a success in itself, and God brought you know 12 pastors, local pastors from Muskogee to start the first meeting behind the vision of Daniel Miller. And uh, man, it's just been awesome to see all the churches come together and that number has grown. I don't know how many pastors are there is now, but the denominational boundaries are dropped. You know, some theological differences are dropping. Everybody's coming to glorify Jesus next week. And we are hoping to come together as a church and just be that body, be the bride of Christ um, in the unity that God wants us to walk in. We quit worrying about all the small things that we keep picking at one another about and realize that God has so much more planned that's so much bigger than what we disagree on. If we would walk in unity, we've got to do something amazing in our churches. There's all kinds of different things I'd like to see. Some unity. There's Absolutely. all kinds of different churches. There's all kinds of different uh, denominations and, and coming together and having a mindset that the losses of Muskogee needs to be taken care of. That's why I'm, I'm back in Right. When it was first presented to me what God had laid on Daniel Miller's heart, I thought, wow, that should be on all of our heart. And I've watched what God's done over the last 10, 12 weeks in the lives of, of Christians in our community. And uh, I'm, I'm just so excited to what, about what he's doing in my life and in the Christian community. I'm excited to see what he's going to do this weekend. I'm expecting, number one, for God to do some things we've never seen before. Not just unite the pastor. This is very rare. Only once in the history of Muskogee this has ever happened before. 1873, when every church came together in the town for a revival that changed the town totally for five years. I'm praying for that to happen. That maybe just churches only growing or uniting of pastors, but God will sweep this town to where the name of Jesus really becomes famous. People are asking everywhere, what in the world's happening? Who is this Jesus Christ? That's what I'm praying for. A mighty moving of God's spirit where he is honored and not our church's names. All right, and last but not least, if somebody's thinking about coming to the 
this revival but feeling a little unsure, man, what would you tell them to ease their mind? I would tell them, don't let anything hold you back. I think God is going to do a great move, not only in the lives of the people that come, but the lives of the people that hear about it as well. And um, it's something that I feel like it's a can't miss event. It's not just an event. It's a time for all the uh, community of Muskogee and surrounding areas to come together and glorify the name of Jesus. Well, there you have it from the Creflo Dollar himself. See y'all later. My advice would be to come with an, open, with an open mind. God loves you, and God wants to show you that love. No matter how you've been treated in church before, no matter what you've heard about the church, there's, there's something pure of, of what God is wanting to do through this revival and through this event. So come on out and see what God has for you. Just just come anyway, whether you're you know uh, hesitant about it or, or not. You just come and just see what God would, would say to you and uh, see how he moves. And, and, and don't come in with a critical spirit. I'd say come in with, with your heart open, ready to receive whatever God has for you. Come and see what God's gonna do in, in your personal life and what God may uh, be calling you to. Uh, you may be someone that's sat in a church pew for the last 60 years, or church may be something that you shy away from, that, that you're not excited about. It, it's not about church. This is all about Jesus and His presence in our lives. And He's got something special for every single person that was ever created. Because that's why we were created, to have a relationship with God. I said, number one is just, you're going to walk into history. Uh, when in the world this many pastors come together, this many to different churches, I'd come just out of curiosity first. Number two, what are you scared of? Are you scared of God? Why would you be scared of God when He died on the cross for your sins through Jesus? I mean, come have a great time and watch and see what happens and listen closely. Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you or push you down or try to corner you in the circle. Come listen and give God a chance to speak to your heart. I guess I would say, you know, what do you got to lose? Come. And, uh, you know, usually, um, you know, if we're going to experience God, it requires us taking steps of faith and even getting outside our comfort zone. And um, so I would say allow yourself to be made uncomfortable if it makes you uncomfortable and come. Because um, a sure way to miss out is not to come. What, what he said. That's a good youth pastor, this is what he said. There you heard it, man. Don't be a loser and come check it out.